on my diesel truck, I have an AirDog 4G HD. This is an older unit. I think they came out around 2012, 2013, somewhere around in there. I've always ran the AirDog filters on it. This time I decided to go with a set of Fleet Guard filters. So I got on Amazon and um, typed in AirDog fuel filters and um, ordered what they said would fit an AirDog system. So when they got here, the water separator fit great. No issues there. The fuel filter, which this is the one they sent me right here, FF5324. Whenever I would screw that on, it would get tight and then it would get loose. So this is whenever you get got it almost all the way screwed on. It would get tight and then get loose. Tight, loose. And it never would seat. I couldn't get this thing far enough up there or couldn't get this gasket far enough up there to... Uh, keep it from leaking fuel. And so I got on AirDog's website and I looked at the part numbers that they had listed that you could use on one of their systems. So we've got Napa, Wix, Baldwin, and Fleet Guard. And by golly, you look at this Fleet Guard, that is not the same number as that 5613. That is not what I have. So I looked online, sure enough, the gasket's a little bit different, and I thought, okay, this is my issue. Nobody local has Fleet Guard filters, but we do have a Napa, and so I went and bought this 3420. So I got a 3420 Napa filter, and it is slightly different gasket size, so I thought, okay, this is my issue. Went and screwed it in, exact same deal again. It would get tight and loose, tight and loose. And again, it leaked. So I was looking at the housing and how it's made. And pretend this is the housing. This is the uh, piece of NPT that you uh, actually screw the filter onto. And this black ring right here represents where the rubber contacts the housing. Right here, there are these two blocks, and I have no idea what these blocks are. You can move them slightly, like if you touch them, they move around just ever so little. No clue what those two blocks are for. But what was happening was, right here, these shoulders these indentions were contacting these blocks. This is the top off of an FF100-2, which is the actual air dog filter that I took off. And you look at how that's made. If I can get this thing to be still. So you've got a little div or a, a little protrusion right there same thing here and there's another one up here that you can't see because of the shadow but you know this is a different style top or gasket or a um, filter base than the napa and the fleet guard so i look at the other part numbers um i go to o'reilly's and pick up more check out one of these wicks by the way these numbers right here those are the fuel filters and these over here are the water separators so i check out the wicks the wicks is built just like the napa and the fleet guard and so i was able to locate a baldwin and the baldwin is designed just like the ff 100-2 i'd say they came out of the same factory so I picked one of those up and it screwed right on there, had no issues. So if you have an older air dog and you're switching from the factory filter over to an aftermarket filter, this Baldwin filter is probably the only one 
that you're going to be able to get the seal to your unit if you have one of these old 4G-HDs. Anyway, I hope this uh, helps somebody out, maybe keep them from buying some filters that they can't use and wasting some money. I hope you all make it a great day.